y'all. Today I got my hair cut, so it's not quite styled the way I normally style it, but hey, you know what? We're gonna work with it, but I wanted to share with y'all three easy DIYs. They're neutral patriotic decor. That's kind of my jam to do the neutral kind of thing. And well, one has a little bit of color, but you'll have to watch and see. On this channel, if you're new here, on this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Okay, we're gonna start off DIY number one by tracing out these shapes that are house shapes onto some cardboard. And it's just cardboard I had at home. I'm sure you have cardboard at home. And again, it's just a house shape tracing it out and then I'm gonna cut it out I cut out two sets of each house and now I'm going to hot glue them together because I want them to be a little bit sturdier a little bit thicker and so that's what I'm doing now I'm taking some Dollar Tree what is that what not wood filler but um spackle and I'm putting it all around the edges and I'm just pushing it into the edges because it's cor corrugated cardboard so there's lots of holes and empty space and so I'm just pushing some in and trying not to pack it in too much because I'm not trying to fill the whole thing up but I'm trying to create a smoother edge not smooth fill in the edge so you can't see the corrugated cardboard that's what I'm trying to do And I did let that dry overnight and now I'm just taking some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I'm giving the front and back a good coat of it. I did make two decals and I'm using my Expressions Vinyl paper transfer tape in order to get those onto the little house shapes. Now the house shapes are of course dry, but I like using this paper transfer tape because it really is not as sticky. And um, so it doesn't pull up your paint or anything like that. I'll do a, re a reveal at the end, but I'm just kind of gluing them together like that. And then I'm gonna take a Jenga block or a tower tumbling block from Dollar Tree and I'll glue that to the back so that way it can stand on its own. Crafty DIYs on a Budget is a group that I have on Facebook with my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY. Really encourage you to check out the links in the description box below and join our group. All right, DIY number two. I had this little crate thing or tray, I guess, and I'm just giving it a coat of Waverly Wax in the color Antique. I'm using a paintbrush to apply it and then I'm taking a um, damp cloth to wipe off the excess. And yes, I've got gloves on. I just got a manicure and I didn't want to ruin it. So I just feel like that Waverly Wax, I don't know, it stains my hands sometimes a little bit too much. And I'm also going to be, this is for another project, but while I had the stain out, I'm staining three stars with the Waverly Wax in the color antique as well. But you'll see those in a minute. So now I am taking some masking tape and I put it down sticky side up and I put three stars on it. And now I'm taking a little extra piece of tape and that's gonna be how I secure it down to that mat. And then I'm gonna paint them. Now I just find that this is an easy way to kind of keep those smaller bits in place instead of trying to hold it and getting the paint all over your fingers and all that kind of stuff it's just a little bit easier way to do that and um, I give them a good coat on one side I use my heat gun to kind of dry them a little bit quicker flip them over and then I paint the other side as well And now I'm just hot gluing those three stars to the, or at least one side of the tray. And then I'm gonna be taking some painter's tape and just, I'm not measuring, cause y'all know I don't measure that much. <laughs> so I'm just creating a stripe down the center. And then I'm gonna be taking some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and making a center stripe. 
Okay, for the third and final DIY, I told you these are quick and easy. I'm taking this little hanger thing and I'm covering it, painting it with Waverly Wax. No, I'm painting it with the Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Plaster. Now, I got this, uh, these, these remnants from, uh, not remnants, I got this material from Hobby Lobby. Gosh, I can't talk today, y'all. So I got these, this material from Hobby Lobby and I'm just cutting off a small portion because I'm gonna be making it into little strips and I just wanted three different colors. So this is where I told you, there's a little bit of color, it's not all super neutral, but these are kind of that Americana vibe, kind of that rustic vibe and that's the vibe I like so much. And I'm just cutting them into inch strips. I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. I think they're like about five inches long. Anyways, now I'm hot gluing them. I'm kind of placing them down first to kind of see if they're placing them like I want them. And then I'm going to hot glue them to the back. And again, I need to, well, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in a second, hang on. So I did want them to be, the strips to be a little bit more distressed. So I am going up and cutting each in half. And I think I might even go back and kind of take like a sanding block and distress it a little bit more. But I think this would be cute on a tear tray or just kind of hanging on, you know, like just a little decor piece. Super simple, super easy. I wanted to thank Teresa B. DIY for organizing this playlist. I'm going to have a link to her channel as well as a link to the, the playlist in the description box below, but y'all need to check her out because she's doing a giveaway. This is in um, support of the Fisher House and she tells you more about that in her video. Plus, she does really awesome DIYs and I know you're going to love it. So please, 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 please check out the links in my description box below. You won't be sorry. And I think you'll really enjoy what Teresa has made for her video for today. Now, back to kind of showing you and wrapping up what I created today. I have this little kind of banner type sign thing. I'm not even sure what to call it, but I like it. Um, I think it turned out really cute. And then this land was made for you and me. I do feel like I need to add a bow to the top. I feel like it looks too plain on the top even though I like neutral, but I think I need to add a bow to it. And then this little star tray, I think it turned out super cute and I think it's gonna look really great on my tear tray as well. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed these three quick and easy neutral patriotic decor ideas. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye.